Uh, welcome. Hi. This is the first October new member Q&A via Zoom. And uh, my name is Betsy Coe. I have with me Murray Maloney and uh, Steve Greenwood, who are co regular co-hosts for this, this event. We, we started this two years ago. Recently, I, I realized I, I had kept saying 18 months ago, but it's been two years. And uh, we get together twice a month to, uh, to just answer people's questions in real time. We have so many wonderful platforms on Wikitree for communication. It seemed like this would just be a good addition to allow people to ask a question and to screen share and break things down and have them be able to answer questions uh, as we go along and do things. So uh, welcome to everyone who's with us tonight. And also welcome to those of you who are watching after watching the recording. I've been on Wikitree about five years. I'm a member of the uh, the England, <clears throat> Scotland, Wales, and Canada and global projects. So very uh, active with the events committee team member. And outside of Wikitree, I am a music teacher. I'm a flutist and a former high school band director. So there's my background. Murray, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Murray Maloney. I am a retired technical writer. So I do some writing here on Wikitree, both in the profiles and for some of the software, the extensions that you can use. And otherwise, I think we're just a bunch of smarty pants who like to share what we know about Wikitree with you. We're glad to have more people join our obsession because uh, it's just one big tree and we're all working on it together. And the more people we have working on it, then the better the tree will be and uh and, and you know so we want to we want you to pitch in and uh we're eager to help you figure out how to use it and, and get going with your genealogy work over to you steven oh yeah uh what he said uh <laughs> <laughs> again yeah the, i think the important thing to note is you know we are a community which does make us differ from most other genealogy uh, genealogy sites you know communities that um and yeah, and so, you know, I joined again uh, around 2020, so it was been about four years now. Uh, I already had a lot of Wiki experience being Wiki founder coming into Wikitree, but I, I did have a love for family history. So this was a perfect merger for me, a perfect marriage of these two interests to come together. Uh, and again, I've been involved in the Germany project and all the Notables projects. Uh, you know, as things happen, I, I update where I can. Uh, I wasn't able to really contribute to Sourceathon this year, but I do try to get around to the Connectathons every now and then. Um, and you know, hopefully, hopefully, it will be a lot better for me in the next couple of months as it's quieter for like other conflicting events I have, you know, other hobbies that I have. So you know, I I'll hope to be around a little bit more in uh, November and December and so forth. So yeah. Terrific. Okay. Well. Um... Welcome, Sally. Yeah, welcome, Sally. Um, we uh, we have uh, before we started recording, we uh, we talked to everyone who's here and um, found out who had specific questions. And of course, if um, spontaneous questions come up as we're going along, um, just maybe put those in the chat with a queue and we'll we'll make sure to uh to monitor that so um beverly should we should we start with you since you were you well, i'm a our... month old or i'm a month i'm a month and a half old maybe i've entered a lot of people and that seems to be my strong suit i can do that right the bad thing i did um, and got in big trouble i put myself on the mayflower I was oh. listed right there with all the passengers. I was trying to put on my page that I was a descendant and somehow I made myself a passenger. So we okay. got that straight. I, yeah. yeah. Do you, so should we look at that together? <laughs> well, I'm yeah. not a passenger anymore, but I decide I'm not going to put it on my page because I might do it wrong. I think I needed to make a thing that said descendant rather than passenger, but right. the temp the template that I saw had a place for passenger. So I thought, yeah, I have a passenger after so I put my name in. So do you want to look at that? Yes, yeah. Um, let me share my screen. And um, I am tr experimenting with dark dark mode for the wiki tree. Um, can everybody see, am I sharing my, yeah, you can see the dark version of Wikitree? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, 
So, okay. Beverly, what, what is your idea again? My idea is O V I A T T 484. O D, uh, spell that, I'm sorry, spell that for me again. O D. O V, as in Victor. Oh, oh. oh okay, that's where I'm going. O V I A T T O V A. Yeah. And the number? 484. 484. Okay. There you are. Okay. And you guys are related. Yes, yes, because of the WikiTree browser extension, we are 10th, oh, you can see we're 10th cousins twice removed. I'm connected to everybody on the tree, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I really, at, at the fourth generation, I started hooking onto the tree and almost all my lines now, a lot of them. Yeah. Are, that's not yeah. Right. Um, you know, I uh, I changed the, the setting. I'm going to change it back to the uh, to the regular um, because I'm I'm just not used to this. Um, it's going to cause some more glare on me, but there. <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. But this is standard mode, so this is what most everybody yeah. to see. Yeah. Um, so Beverly. Um, oh. Very well where, done autography. Nice. Yeah, um, where where I'm looking for the the Mayflower. Oh, I took it down. As soon as I saw that it wasn't right, I deleted it. And that was part of the problem in solving it, because we had to try to determine what I did wrong to get myself on the ship. And that oh. nobody could disembark me for quite a while, but they got it figured out that I put my name in where the passenger should be. So I decided not to. Not what do you call those stickers or yeah, stickers? Stickers, yeah. Stickers. I, I I was going to have one for Mayflower and D A R and uh, Great Migration and Palatines, and I thought, nope, I'm not going to do it because I'll get in trouble. Oh well, no, uh, not, not necessarily. I mean, it's just you know you just have to learn how to, to how do it to right. Use them. Yeah. Um, do you want to pick one and we can see if we can figure it out for you? If you want to do that, have yeah. time. Be great. So, still... Yeah. So which one should do you are you interested well, in? Well, let's go ahead. Well, maybe we better steer away from Mayflower. <laughs> <laughs> let's do D A R. D A R. Okay. I have 25. So, I won't put them all on there. So now what I think what I would recommend. And there are there are different ways, of course, to skin this cat, but I'm going to put uh D A R sticker and just see what comes up um stickers for lineage and genealogical societies that's it that's uh, a where 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 yeah. that's it yes the very yes perfect yeah there is a category and i uh beverly i think we looked at this last time for you of finding the category it's yeah i was so that is the G two G. So it shouldn't be that control. hard. If, if if you go back to the profile, so we can probably prefer. we can probably use the template picker to find exactly what you need. Now you're going fast. I lost. Okay. So you went to help. Is that where you went? Help. No, I went. No, I went go, under. Go into edit mode. I went to find. Oh, okay. Go, to, um, Beverly. May, may I go to edit mode? Sure. How do you do that? Oh, I, I just have, yes. Okay. I just, Clicked on edit. Yeah. And now go down to the templates. Yeah. yeah. I've never tried to edit a user's profile before. So, template. no, but she wants to show that add any template. Add oh, any. Okay. Add, no, add, add, okay, add sticker. Hmm. And now uh, DAR. So, just in the. No, just. Okay. Just type in DAR and see if we get something. Yeah. Okay, Oops, now no. try then now try Daughters of the American Revolution. Daughters, okay. maybe itself. Hmm. Okay. Why does it not exist? No. Wow. Um, Patriot? Is it under Patriot? Some is under N NSDAR, National Society, Daughters of the American Revolution. No. Try Patriot. Um, try template. Well, here we N have NSSAR. Ancestor or American Patriot. 
patriot ancestor. That's it. Mm -hmm. Right, because you're not the oh, patriot. That's it. That's S A R. Okay. Yes, S A R. I'm a girl. <laughs> yeah. Right. You, yeah, you're a patriot ancestor, not the patriot itself. That's where I'll get in trouble if I put the answer. No, 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 that, that doesn't make any sense. You're the descendant of the patriot. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. They're the ancestors. That's that's where I'm confused. <laughs> okay, wait, that's whoa, whoa, stop, 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 whoa, 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 Because I put Type in descend, descendant. What? What? Oh, descendant. Yeah. Mayflower descendant, PGM descendant, Huguenot. Mm -hmm. So the, a couple of them, obviously, the Palatine migration descendant. Yeah, so here are a couple of the ones. So you were interested in Palatine migration, right, Bev? Yes, I'm I'm on that project. So I'm getting a million emails. So I guess oh, I'm okay. So I think it's already so selected. Maybe maybe we should pivot just since it's here, just to see how this works. Yeah. So, so for that. Really, I I have to say I, I haven't I haven't done a sticker this way. So Ooh, I'm relying okay. on you. This to, is uh, this is this we, is, we, this we is, can always back out. I yeah. love this way of doing it. Okay, so shall I, I click on this? Anything. <laughs> Select. Yes. Uh huh. And then update changes. Okay. Because this should allow you to go into. And then at the very bottom is where it is. No, did it add it? it oh it yeah, at the very top. Oh, so you are oh. you you're now marked as a as a Palatine descendant. Look, oh wait, uh. Okay, let's go to a preview. Yeah, let's go to preview first. So it, it's there. Uh -huh. okay. There we go. Oh, okay, well, that was quick and easy. Yeah, uh, that's You that's have cool. to hit the update changes in order to force it to go into the biography or go into the template. Okay, I went to right. template and then update. Let's mm -hmm. try that again with Mayflower Descendant. Yeah. Sure. Okay, and try that. Templates. Add sticker. But once you get the hang of it, the pattern's pretty simple. You just have to find the template, which you gotta use the right text to identify it. Right. Okay, yeah. Mayflower Descendant. So go to select. And now there's a couple of other special things here. They don't have to be filled in. I believe they're optional. Um, what did it say? It, it's trying to identify who that passenger is. Oh, the passenger. The okay, let's put James Chilton. Okay, do you know okay, so three. his name is James Chilton? C H I L T O N. Now, yeah. the ID is that the wiki tree ID? Yeah. Okay. So it'd be Chilton oh, wow. dash and then a number. And do we you don't, know his do you know no, his ID? I don't have if I have it written down, it's not in front of me. Just well, give a moment. Let's let's see a uh, new tab. Murray, are you on the on the case? I'm on the case. Okay. <laughs> so what Murray is doing is he's just going to one of the search fields and putting oh, in Murray. James Shilton. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've done that. And That's and then looking. Um, well, if it were me, I would then filter by by birth year to find somebody he, who would he be. Came, he came in on the top of the list, and is and the manager. For James Chilton is the Mayflower Project. That's it. That's him. So I'm pretty okay. sure that's the one. Yes, that's the right one. <laughs> and okay, and it's Chilton. ID is Chilton 33. Ooh, hey. Got it. Okay. Not living okay. update changes. Let's see what it looks like on the page. Uh, all right, go, go ahead and hit preview. Just hit preview. Oh, yeah, it's really... oh, oh, but only replaced take... the other one. <gasps> How come? Because you still we... had it selected. Okay, no, no, no. Wait, we can fix that. Now go back. <laughs> you go back still have the text selected, so then it replaced it. Oh, is that what happened? That's yeah. what happened. What yeah. happened? You need to be five years till you know all this oh. stuff. <laughs> and and wait a minute. Shouldn't this be below? It should needs to be below biography. Why? Well, that's just a style thing um, that stickers go mm -hmm. below the biography heading and categories go above. That's right. Oh. Greg, might have, Greg might have to help with re-engineering uh, that potentially to make sure they go below the biography. Other people well, don't know that. So if they hit the sticker, then it'll just default to the top. 
Oh, okay. yeah. Although, it's probably... I don't think it, <laughs> it doesn't look, it doesn't look wrong to me here. No. No. But stylistic wise, like style guide, it would have to put. Anyway, it, it goes below the biography. Yeah. yeah. So let's do that. Let's yeah. uh, file, follow good style rules. Whoops. Click on the text box. There we go. There we go. Okay. So copy. Oh, I'm finished. And mm. I move that down. And yeah, that extra little space too. Now, what was the one that we lost? Uh, palatine migration. So you can just type that in, right? Or D A R. So, now, now that we've moved it, yeah, it's it's in line with the rest of the the text. Okay. So I think that that's better. Okay. So we go back to the templates. Um, add sticker. Uh, right there. Oh, look at that! It's right there. <laughs> Template. Add sticker. And See then select. Yeah, and there there were no other. Feeds, uh, or other. What was that? Well, when you when you say update changes, is that what eliminates the previous one and puts a new one in? No. Go no. ahead. Make sure that you don't have any text that's currently active. So, like, if you clicked off of it, now it should stick it next to it. There it is. Now uh, that's weird. A little bit because. Uh, don't worry. Just put just put yeah, it just where it belongs. That I know. Yeah. Just, yeah. Command X. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now let's see how it looks. Yep. Preview. There. Okay. Yeah. Much better. Okay. Okay. Now I'll get brave and try the others on my own. Phone. Yes. Yeah. We've done some and now, um, I'm going to go over and uh, I'll just say, oh, it, it already added what we did. So we'll see bio improvements and full save. Okay, very good. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Yep, and um, it should be there if you go scroll down a little bit. Mm -hmm. There they are. Okay. Yeah, it looks great. I was afraid to try it again after I got in trouble. <laughs> well, you well, shouldn't let that discourage you. I mean, this is all a learning process, and WikiTree does yeah. have a very high learning curve. So yes, you know, if something do. doesn't work, you can always uh, remove it. You can always make changes to it, because that's the beauty of a wiki. The beauty of a wiki is that you know it, it is editable, and it is changeable. So nothing is set in stone. So you shouldn't, you shouldn't have to feel bad, you know, about making mistakes because we, we've all made mistakes. I mean, I've made millions of mistakes. <laughs> That's a very nice picture of you, Beverly. Yeah. Yes, you. I don't nice. know how to take a selfie, so I stand in front of the mirror, and that's why I was laughing. <laughs> I, was, I was standing in front of the mirror taking a picture of myself. <laughs> uh, great. Well, um, let's see. Um, I know you have a, several questions. Yes, Ann. What, and uh, one thing, Nye, nice, did you see that in your uh, when you do your profile, did you look at the suggestions up on top? It, it, it's a brand new thing that they have now. Oh. Go all the way to the top. Yeah, here. Let's let's go ahead and. Um, oh, sorry. Rather than rather than reveal several oh. suggestions, we'll just go to mine. Okay, all the way at the top. Look at suggestions. Where? There we go. So it's under my wiki tree. Suggestions. And there we go. Um, um, <laughs> what what is is that um the profiles now it has it on there for you. It has a sticker. Uh, a, a yellow sticker, and if it turns green, that means it's perfect. And if it turns yellow, that means something's wrong with your profile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Oh, suggestions. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So, 
Well, does it like your multiple duplicated lines for some yeah. reason? <laughs> so, yeah, I, uh, I don't, I don't work on my suggestions as often as I should. Um, and, uh, but it would be good to get that number down. So I, I think, uh, yes. What, what Anne was, was trying to point out to you, do you see the, um, if you look down, uh, just below the, the edge. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Go back up, 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 up. Now, you see on the upper, oh, no, went too far. Okay, stop, just stop there. Yeah, there you go. Click on that. Okay. See the check mark that appeared? Yes. So it's telling you that it just checked your profile and, mm -hmm. and, and, and WikiTree Plus doesn't have any suggestions for your profile. Oh. For my so profile. Okay. Yes. So you're clean. So, so what, wait this, all, this, so, what this shows me is that you haven't yes. enabled the second option on the suggestions uh, thing, which is to have yeah. that happen automatically every time you go to a profile mm -hmm. so that you don't even have to click the suggestions button. It'll just show you either a check mark yeah. or a number. I see. <laughs> Would that slow <laughs> down the load time on a page if you had nope. suggestions activated? Not that I've noticed. Okay. And is that is that a WikiTree browser extension? That's right. Feature? Okay. Yeah. All right. So just uh, just let me see. Let me pick my one of my great grandfathers. So if I go to oh okay, well that's good. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Anne. Really that's new. new it's brand new. It's brand new. It just, yeah. just started. Find some Jed junk. Good. Uh, actually, go back to your um when you when you took us to your suggestions page. Remember that? To mine. Go there, sure. Go there again. Sure. Go there again. Okay. Let's, and let's... Mm -hmm. Okay. Now uh, cl click on any anybody in that in that list. Uh, go click on their suggestions button. Mm -hmm. So we know there's issues with this profile. Yes. And there it yeah. is. So now if you click on that, uh -huh. it should pop up. There you go. Okay. Huh. Huh. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, we can fix it right now. Really? The find a grave. <gasps> yep. That's that right. template's not going through. Yep. Sticker Smart start. <laughs> so double curly brackets to complete. There we the go. Play. All right. So this is a a formatting error, um, full save, and let's see. Will it will it give me a check mark that quickly? A, a check mark will still be there until the next time that WikiTree Plus checks the right. Uh, yeah right. Is that twenty four? Oh, it, 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 well, click on the suggestion button. See what happens. Okay. Yeah. Still it, have it. So it still yeah. thinks it's there until next week. Yeah. However. We did not see this before with this hyperlink. And now, because I added in the second curly bracket, that template is working properly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's so, the good Oh, great. my. Wow. Well, let's, uh, let's return. Let's see. Bonnie, can we move? Um, Beverly, I will, I'm sure we'll be able to come back go back to you but bonnie do you want to ask a question do we still have bonnie with us i was just going to say that john marcus is a, is a well-dressed man and he has a nice uh, selection of shoes <laughs> uh, bonnie has dropped off a while oh. back early on uh, i don't think she rejoined okay was not able to rejoin mm -hmm. oh. okay all right um let's see um, Jerry, do you want to ask your DNA question? Sure, uh, I'd really appreciate it. Um, all those little boxes, I don't know how to get back to, uh, but I do know some descendants that I've talked to, and I know, is it descendants? My cousins, they're new cousins, yeah. and I know who I'm related to, um, um, but I know I got them, I don't know how to get out of this now, exit, right? not exit I don't know how to there we go um like uh, mary mckenzie i got annabelle right now um i can't see because i played around with the 
the pretty colors and now I can't see what the number is. Oh, her Peters dash two hundred five zero. Peters dash twenty thousand fifty. Thank um, you. Murray, do you <laughs> excuse me, do you want yeah, to take I, I, I'm, I'm looking for <laughs> excuse me? <laughs> Bless you. Bless you, yes. Her grandson is related to me. Uh, I can't. And seriously. Auntie Annabelle is too, but uh, am I related to Stephen? I need to know, or Elizabeth, or how does that work? Just give us a moment. Me? What? No, no, I'm waiting for Betsy to allow me to share screen. Yeah, Murray, I just made you a co host, and okay. Steve, I, oh, yeah, I made you both co hosts. Just, I forgot to do that. Sorry. That's Uncle Johnny. Yep. That's her profile. All right. And now your question is, are you related to her? I, yeah. How can I prove that I'm related to her? I, I through her grandson, I'm DNA related. Um, I don't have the chromosome number now, but um, well, definitely okay. DNA related. So, so what we can see is that you're Jerry Hopkins, aren't you? Yes. So what we can see right here on the right hand side is that your DNA test um has reached her profile which means that that you have a family connection to her oh where, blood, where is it you you have a blood connection so if you just give me a moment we'll figure out exactly what that connection is okay thank you we we'll just need both profile ids so we can put them in a connection uh, connection finder the problem is i can't see that my damn menu is because um everything is orange no no the uh the uh, menu's in the way. Uh, is, oh, right, because you're sharing. Yeah, that, that bar has to be moved. How, do you, how do you do that? I have a menu for my watch there list. There we go. There we go. Uh, so now, so what I'm first going to do, this is, this is a weird thing I have to do, but I'm going to first ask if, if there's a connection to me. And, huh? it, and it won't find one. That's okay. Really? And so now, Jerry, I actually, I probably could have picked up your ID, but could you tell me what your uh hopkins one nine five seven six i think it is i hope i'm right one nine five seven six yes i'm gonna yeah. see if i can see it we could just change those fields and uh there's the relationship where well annabelle peter oh. um annabelle peter's sister is grace yes my mom and you're Grace's daughter. Yes. Yeah, she's your aunt. Oh, I've never seen that before. Okay, so this is the this is the connection to me thing. Okay. And this is really from the DNA test. I got an ancestry. Marie, is that right? No. Well, sorry. So let let's 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 make sure that we understand the different things that we're talking about here. Okay. So so first of all, um. What this is showing is that she is your aunt. This is showing in your genealogy. Presumably you've entered all of these, right? Yes. Because I knew her. Yeah. Okay. But I know her grandson is definitely related to me. So you're talking about in terms of the DNA. There's a, yes. you, you found a relationship. Sure. Um so, so the first thing is you, you've you already set up the genealogy to, sh to show that she's your aunt. And what you're okay. asking now is how do you how do you prove that she's your aunt? How do you show that using the DNA? Is that is that the deal? Yes, exactly. There's okay. little square boxes that mean something and I don't understand the colored square boxes. Colored square boxes. The, the ones that say DNA confirmed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and you, so and you want to know what's the process for doing that kind of confirmation? Yes, I've read it and I can't understand it. I've read it and read it and I can't hold it in it, my head. It's kind of complicated, isn't it? Okay. Yes. So you, you've, um, you did your, your DNA at uh, Ancestry. Yes. Yes. And you also copied that to GED match. Is that right? I think uh, that's what I saw yes, on your dead match, yes. Okay. All right. Um and your um now Annabelle Peters never did a DNA test, right? N no, but her grandson did. 
Okay. I'm, I'm just trying to find out whether anybody else did. So did your mom do a DNA? No. Okay. Just, just the grandchild. Yes. Um, yes. And my new cousin that I met two new cousins, okay. they're related to Mary McKenzie and, uh, there's another one and I can't remember her name right now. Okay. So, um, there's an daughters app, yeah. of uh daughters of Mary daughters of Mary Mackenzie and Nicholson is his name yeah. um with a, a I can't remember his name Angus Nicholson. So, um do, does does your the, the the grandchild that you referred to is that um is that does that person have a a WikiTree ID? No, no. he's not in WikiTree. Okay, um, but Annabelle is, and are any of Annabelle's it, it, it's Annabelle's grandchild, right? Yes. Um, okay, and her and and none of Annabelle's children are on WikiTree. No. Okay, so we got to skip two. That's okay. We can do that, I think. So let's see how we're going to do this. We're going to go to the. Um, uh, we got to go to the DNA confirmation maker, and what we what? So do we? Um, Betsy, do you want me to go through the whole process, or do you yeah, want me to just explain yeah, it, what the process what, is? It's, it's it's not a not a complicated triangulation. No. No, it's very simple, really. Yeah. Um, but now I've just got to find it. You, um, how do you find the DNA confirmation maker when you don't? Oh, have really? It? I can I can pull it, find it, and put it. Let's so see. Find, find DNA confirmation. I know I should have that handy. Um, I mean, it should be right there, but it's not. Yeah. Was it not within my wiki tree? Because I could see there was a link that said DNA confirmation. Are you looking for, for Greg's citation maker, right? And Gre yeah, Greg's confirmation maker. I just yeah. don't have okay. it handy. Thank you. Uh, yes. Yeah, I no, am putting it in the chat for you. Okay. Because that's going to be you, yeah. There you go. Norm, could you help me out, please? Sorry. Open that up, too. Oh, where'd that chat go? All right, where is this going? So now i got to get rid of that chat. Okay, good. Now I can see everything. Okay, so this is Greg Clark's DNA confirmation maker, and we're going to do... Oh, we can't see it. You're still on the, the relationship between Annabelle and Jerry. Okay. Uh, I'm on right now. Sorry. Uh, that? There it is. Okay. All right, now do you see it? I see yep. it now. Okay, so we're going to do a simple DNA match. And... So it wants me to log in first. Then again, it doesn't have to be yours. It can be anybody on the site, correct? Yeah. Okay. It just wants you to log in, obviously, for your credentials. So this would be the same login that you use to log into WikiTree. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's just a secondary login. Oops. Come on. Um, okay. So I don't want to use you. What are you doing? Stop doing that. Okay, now. Um, Jerry, give me your ID again. Hopkins19576. I'm surprised I can remember. And your uh, the grandchild's uh, initials. Um... You got me there. Um, his first name. Um, Any identifier at all? GV, GV. I would say it is. Yes. Okay. And is that a male or a female? Male. And common ancestors that Jerry and GV share are? 
grandparents. Um, Stephen Peters and Elizabeth McKenzie. Well, your the, the the ancestors that you share is your grandparents. Yeah. Wow. So okay, it's proven. So the grandparents um, are sorry are Stephen. Yep. So mm -hmm. that means Jazz Hopkins is mine too. Okay. Um, so and Stephen Elizabeth Hopkins. McKenzie. It's supposed to be M A C, I think. So My cousins spell it that way. Um, our grandparents are Jerry. Yep. Is that proven now? So it would be first cousins once removed, right? So that'd be great grandparents, right? So there's a little bit of offset. Okay, here we can start to visualize it. Oh. Grace so your Jane. child yeah. would be second cousins, but in your case, your generation off, so you would be removed. Does that well, who, removed to to who? To G. Who, who who is um that's wait a second. Um, Elizabeth Mackenzie's father. No. So, who is grandchild? Stephen Edwards' child. So, your mother is Grace, right? Yes. And who's who is Grace's sibling that this this grandchild is through? Annabelle. Annabelle. And so, where's Annabelle here? Annabelle's not in this list. Annabelle. Yes, here. she is. She's. <laughs> She's near oh, Bessie. There, there yeah. we go. Thank you. Okay. And then um, the mother is not on WikiTree, right? It, it, oh, sorry. Is it through the mother or through the father? I don't Annabelle? understand. Is it Annabelle's daughter or Annabelle's son that the, the relationship? Annabelle's daughter. Okay. Okay. And now it's going to ask us uh, have you confirmed the relationship? Through traditional genealogy, and yes, yes, um, has DNA D match been provided by a DNA testing company? Yes. Um, does it course does it does the match correspond with what you're expecting? How many centimorgans are you getting? I really can't remember. Number okay, but we're going to assume that the oh it, it wants to know. It was a lot okay, ancestry amount of match so. Um, I'll check. It was yeah, over 300. It's over 200? 300. Over 300? So let's just put 300. Um, and we'll say probably nine segments. And we could, you can go back and edit that once you look it up, Jerry. Okay. Now, uh, the relationship protected by Ancestry, Anc did Ancestry know that this was your, what is she to you? She's your great Grandniece? Who? Did, did Ancestry predict that? Uh, wait, wait. Like, he's my, I know he's my cousin, and my cousin's once removed is his attachment. No, what I'm asking you is, when, when you looked at this child's name on your Ancestry list, usually what it'll, it'll say, here's how many centimorgans. But it'll also say, we think this person is Stephen your brother, your, your mother, your uncle, your aunt, your your, oh. your niece, et cetera. So I'm just asking, what 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 did it say? You remember? No. Okay, so I'm gonna put great grandniece in just for just for fun. Great grand nephew, he would be. Nephew, sorry. We're just we're just doing this to try it out. I mean, you 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 would have to do this. You're going to go through this process on your own for every um, yes. So, but I'm just showing you how to how the how it all works. So, so now we've got to the point where it it it'll it's going to allow you to add a DNA confirmation for um, Stephen and Elizabeth, and you should okay. go to Grace Grace Peters page, and mark the relationship from Grace Peters 
to Stephen and Elizabeth as confirmed with DNA. Wow, thank you. Thank okay. you so much, yes, okay. and I feel that way. But then you have to go into the page. So that's where, so we're talking about Grace's page, okay, her profile. And you're gonna grab this text here. Well, actually you can just press the copy button and that'll copy it into your, into your, um, it's just like doing a, a control C. Okay? Yes. So and now you can go into the person's profile and do control V and it'll put the, that text there. And what the text does, <clears throat> it says, there's a paternal and maternal relationship. And they're both confirmed based on the ancestry DNA test match between Jerry and GV, a grandchild of Annabelle Peters. And that's, and then it, it puts in some, some stuff to show that that is a first cousin one times removed. Their most recent common ancestors are Stephen Edward Peters and Elizabeth McKenzie, the grandparents of Jerry Hopkins and the great grandparents of GV. The predicted relationship from ancestry DNA is great grand niece. I, I wrote that. So wow. based, on, based on sharing 300 centimorgans across nine segments. So you would need to get the actual numbers. Okay? Yes. And, and basically you just go through that process that I just went through with, with this and fill it all in as you go. And then you get to this stage and you can, now you have this to plug in. Now, then you, there's a bonus section. You can show extra DNA confirmations. Okay. Finish confirmations. And you can add, add relationship with DNA tester to the profile ancestor. So, so now uh, here's a DNA to mark the relationship uh, from Jerry Hopkins. So this is to, this would go in your profile. And it it says that a maternal relationship is confirmed by your, your DNA test and um, predictor relationship, et cetera. And, and then it says Jerry is the daughter of Grace Peters, who is the daughter of the common ancestors, Stephen Edward Peters and Elizabeth McKenzie. So it puts all that information in there so that anybody mm -hmm. looking to see, you know, you've clicked that button that says confirmed with DNA. If you have that button clicked, then you have to have one of these on that page. Now, do you, wow. know, where, okay. do you, know, where, do you know where it goes? No. Okay. So on, on my profile? Yeah. It, well, basically this one goes in your profile. Yes. And this one goes in uh, Grace's profile. Okay, but but basically, <coughs> excuse me. I'm dissociated every, now because I'm so excited. Sorry. For every I'm, person, that, I will listen. For every person that gets one, then you need to put it in under the sources. Okay, so at the very end, after after you've done anything else in sources, then you put this uh, uh, source. You, you put this DNA confirmation. Okay, and I'll show you what it would look like. Okay. Um, now I've got to change my, got to change the share again, and I got to go to that share. And now you're oh no that's not what you're seeing. Where is what you're seeing? Um, you're seeing this. Uh, you're seeing the Annabelle Vader's is two degrees, right? Mm. Yes. Two. Yep. Okay. Uh, and so, and what was I promising to show you? I got caught up in something. How uh, you would like to copy and paste? I think the copy and see what it looks oh, like. Oh, where, where 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 it goes? Right. Okay. So, is it between the biography and the sources that you first pasted on? No, like below the shows? Below the source. I'm so you, you do paste it in below the sources first time. Okay. Sorry. I hope this is helpful for other people too. Oh yeah, that's the point, right? That's why we do these. Oops, I didn't. Oh yeah, I did want to go to edit. Oh no, I didn't want to go to edit. Oh sure, I did. Okay, so um, let me go to the very 